So I made it to the museum. I'm with Layla. Say hi, Layla. Hey. You can't see her. You gotta get cold. Hey. <laughs> what is the museum called? It's in Nordic Kerk. Nordic Kerk. We it's are in. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Really? You already had your coffee. No way. It's a, a Rembrandt meets Van Gogh um, art exhibit, right? Yeah. I didn't even know that. It was just free, so I pulled up. So, yeah. But wow, it's so beautiful. Let me show you guys. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record. Just depends how scared I feel. Yeah. But Layla's backing me up. She's like, whip your camera out. Go ahead and start recording. I'm like, no, I don't think I want to. <laughs> We're laying on bean bags. Uh, it, it looks so beautiful. It's like a church. It feels like a cathedral, like a Catholic church. You guys have to see this and or come to, let's just see the rest. Damn, I really should have brought my new camera. Oh shit. Oh. Exactly, but you start taking the pictures and then everybody kind of follows. Yeah. Oh, this is a vibe right here. It's perfect. Even the old people over there, he's taking a picture of his girl. But I didn't end up using my new camera because I didn't charge it. I was so excited that I didn't even get to charge the, the camera. I literally like put it back in the box and was like so excited. Like, oh my God, I'm going to use my new camera tomorrow. And they didn't even charge the battery. That's something I would do. Like, that's low-key something I would But I've been working on like things like that. But I did have this camera fully charged. And so I'm using my other camera. The Lighting is a little bit, but we're gonna make it work. I'm like nervous. I'm like, <laughs> no, okay. all right. But look at how Layla looks like a supermodel. I gotta show y'all. Like she looks mad cute. Her outfit. She killing the game. Look at her abs, the tan, all that. <laughs> all right. I'll catch you guys in the next scene. Okay, so what did you think about the museum? Oh my god, I fucking loved it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it is. It was like it was like so zen. I was, so it was really good. So this is the whole museum, right? Just yeah. the, the the. It was an experience. Oh, it was an experience. experience. And this is the actual church that what is the artist's name? Rembrandt and Vincent mm -hmm. met in. They met in this church, which is so beautiful, and it feels like you feel the Holy Spirit in his vibes. Nah, uh, yeah, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys one last time, and then we're gonna go outside, and it's really sunny outside, so it's pretty. Um, this okay. is it, right? Yeah, this is okay, it. Okay, then we can exit here. All right, I'll catch you guys up in a little bit. Look at this, this is a vibe. Let's take a little thumbnail. Sorry, hello. <laughs> it's the new generation. We're crazy. Sorry. <laughs> you was like, you're like, okay. Have a great day. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. gonna happen so even if you're asking even even if you're asking cause I do what I do and it's time for something new do you have like a takeaway I was just fascinated by the artwork and how they combined it together yeah exactly so the that. whole experience was basically like their letters to each other right yeah. yeah okay so it was like their whole letters to each other that they would write to one another they were basically like buddies like art buddies exactly mm -hmm. i never knew that me neither me neither and i've been living in amsterdam for literally for like literally i don't know why i sound so hispanic when i say that in my head like literally which is fine because you know hispanic represent me in holland baby you see now the lighting i have to change it again okay i'm in the shade and this was like perfect for the sun but now i have to yeah. yeah so now i have to go like so so you can see me but this exactly so the new camera i got it does it automatically you see like it, it this will stop me from recording yeah. from vlogging alone because if i'm alone i'm like on yeah. exactly instead of just being like pop, 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 pop. but this camera did get me to 600 subscribers so i'm grateful Six, how much 600 600 wow 
Wow. I know. 600 really people. Really that there. much? I know. What yeah. The it happened over the quarantine. No, I had like maybe four something. And then out of nowhere, it just grew to 600. You have a YouTube channel. Huh? Yeah, a YouTube channel. So 600 subscribers? Mm -hmm. Girl. I know. Already, no, I'm not. No, you need a thousand to get monetized though. Well, okay. so I'm like, you know, I need y'all to subscribe if y'all watching this video. I have to do more videos pertaining to okay. my life. Yeah, but then I was also I was also really scared to like pro openly share my life, but I realized where I want to get to mm. in my YouTube career mm -hmm. or journey is going to require for me not to have privacy. Yeah. You know, I, oh, like oh. I have to like, I have to release some of my privacy in order to get to where I want. So yeah. I was like battling with that for a while. Yeah, but the beautiful thing about that is you can decide what you're sharing. That's true. You know? But then the thing about it was that I didn't know what to not share because I'm just such an open book in person. Yeah. You know, so I had to like kind of really spiritually get in tune with myself and really realize what is for me and what is not and that's why journaling really helped me because that made me that really made me understand that there's some things I take to my journal yeah like you fugly little bitch like, like some mean girl shit and there's some things you know I could talk I want to show you guys the canal uh, freaking beautiful like it's another world here Layla looking gorgeous, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna make sure to update my camera as we... Oh, I, I kind of like it zoomed up. It gives me a little documentary style. We're gonna right. leave it like that. Yeah, so it's just nice weather. It's amazing weather. It's beautiful. I think today's gonna be 21 degrees. Oh, for real? Yeah. We picked a good day to exactly. come. That was crazy. They picked us. Exactly. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna come back on camera when I have something more intentional to share and speak about. But I just really wanted to take you guys along with me today i see you guys bye <laughs> look at this cute car behind me okay bye guys i'll see you in a little bye we stopped to come get a coffee you know it's so crazy how much you work on yourself and how you realize how you realize everything kind of falls in place later on in the moment of the sadness that you're going through like you don't feel like you're gonna ever recover you don't feel like you're ever gonna recover and then out of nowhere you recover and you're chilling on a bench after a museum with your friend it really is kind of, it's like a whole manifestation just having a good day like just that simple like i just needed to have a good day and i'm learning that the bad days make you realize the type of good days you want so when they happen you're really happy because I'm really happy right now yeah I'm really appreciative of what's coming like the sun is booming Amsterdam is so beautiful when the sun is out like everything feels like it makes sense I swear if the sun was out if this was a sunny country this would be like one of the top places to live it already is but it'll definitely be the top places the people are beautiful it, the bike path is perfect um, transportation is basically perfect. Yeah, it would be perfect if it was always sunny, but it isn't, so that's why they have a high pro productivity rate. Oh, uh, oh, thank you, Belle. Belle, do you want to sit over there? I think I'm okay here. Yeah, okay. 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 You hear me talking Dutch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you're like, oh. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, build this. Build this. I'll be practicing. I'll be practicing a little side sign. I know how to speak, but I just be like timid. If you have time for me to speak to you in Dutch, then I will practice. I will, I will speak in Dutch. But if, if you like in a rush, then I'll be like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, take your time. 
Oh my god, my coffee's gonna get cold, but let's take a zip of this coffee let's on camera. A, a zip. <laughs> Did let's, I say? Yeah, let, let's take a zip of this coffee, you know? Let's take a zip. Let's give it it's giving real European vibes. Right? Zip, zip of the coffee. Oh. Okay, let's take a zip of the coffee. Damn. You know, Yo, the coffee here in Europe, it feels, it tastes like a meal. What? Do you guys have these in New York? Bitter cookies? Bitter cookies? Bitter cookies? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, yeah, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like it's. Yeah. I think so. Even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these are the ones I don't like. I love them because they are like so hard and imperfect that I love them. Imperfectionist, I love. Yeah, that's so sweet. I just, I'm just recording so that you guys can feel the vibe. It's such a vibe. I hope that you guys. But if you guys are struggling with your mental health, not me talking about this right when the truck is coming here. Let's go. The guy in the truck showed me love. When I do this to people, it, I, I, I mean it like I love you, like the, the symbol for it. You know. If you're struggling with your mental health, don't worry. Days, they, it, days do get better. Like it does get better, right? If someone is struggling with their mental health right now, watching, what do you, what would you advise? What's a piece of adva advice you would give? You're not alone in this. Oh. You know, it feels like you are. Because you're like having your own uh, struggles and emotions, but you're not alone. Because I think everyone in this whole entire world goes through something like it. So know that you will get better and know that you have the strength to come back to the person you are. Because this is not you. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> you talk, girl. It's <laughs> it. I'm gonna choke in my biscuit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got on the camera. I have to bring my tripod. <laughs> Okay, because I can't come. It was so funny. I'm sorry, man. No, I, hope you, I hope you can laugh about it because I love making people laugh. But oh. the feelings you experience now, that doesn't make you the person you are. You remind that it's, it's exactly. coming and going. So stay strong. Exactly. I, I second that. That's amazing. For some reason, I still can't translate my thoughts completely into camera. Um, I can, but... I think I'm, I think it's because I'm holding the camera. I can hold it for you. Let's try it. Okay, then ask me a question. So what question do I need to ask? I'm not good at asking quest questions. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I have to change the lighting. Uh, one second. Ooh. My makeup came out beat to the gods. That was all oh, MAC girl. testers. I got like MAC testers. Like, bitch, she knows how to do makeup. Like, that was from the always. MAC testers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, action. This is the longest I've ever like recorded just vibing. Okay. okay, so I'm not that good at asking questions, so that's yeah, a good. Um, I'll start preparing my. Okay, okay. What is something you needed to hear at your lowest point? That's what I want to get. That's what I want the tone of my videos to come across. Like, I always want to be able to help and encourage someone that is at their lowest point watching a video mm -hmm. you know what I mean because yeah. if you are watching you're trying to disassociate from reality right you're trying to watch to disengage maybe find some type of inspiration mm -hmm. so that's what I always want to be able to make sure that I provide in my channel so have you thought it through how you want to um, spread your I have message. It. I think the more I record, the mm -hmm. more it gets clear to me like how to communicate. Mm -hmm. Because I've had like weeks where I've like posted and edited and recorded, um, where like it became it it became clear mm -hmm. of like how I'm supposed to talk and like you know the message I'm conveying. But when you when you first start, you're kind of like full. You're like ah, oh, like you're kind of all over the place, and you're kind of so aware of the camera and like everyone around you. Mm. And it's just like, what crowd are you speaking to? So, I think the more I record, which I am already doing it pretty confidently, and I'm very happy about it. I think it's it's really beautiful. To like see I feel like I myself, like myself, is translating through the camera. Normally, if I record, like I feel like I'm very stiff. But I feel like no. I'm like Girl, trying to, I feel you like my are made to be on camera. I'm just trying to buy my mother a house really and like my siblings what everything they want and the people I love. 
things. So tell me about that part of your personality because you're a really caring person. So Oh, so sweet. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, so I'm one out of 11 and I think that that had a huge impact in my life. Looking back at it now, I look back at it and I'm like, wow, like being from 11 children in New York City, like that had a huge impact on my personality and the way I view life. And um, very caring person, I'm the third. So you have like the first five oldest and then you have the last five and then you have the middle child, which is my brother. From the last five child, I'm the middle child. And I think just being the middle one of them, I don't know, it just provided so much empathy and, and, and understanding and, cause I just, I just saw both sides of the coin. Exactly, right. yeah, that's so cool. I think that's mainly it. If you guys ask me any questions or anything like to get to know me or just living in Amsterdam, like um, I always felt like I couldn't provide insight because I hadn't made it in Amsterdam really. Like I didn't finish here, or I didn't get this, or I didn't do that, you know? So I feel like I could never provide knowledge, but that's not true because I have such an insight into this preach into this world yes <laughs> you see you're hype man i'm gonna need you to be yes. my when i'm recording <laughs> preach yeah so i think like um so that's also the thing yeah? we always think that we need to know everything yeah. before we can share but that's not how it no goes. and then you also i'm waiting for this moment of prophetic moment never is perfect enough because I don't look pretty enough, I don't have the newest clothes, like I don't have my nails done, I don't have this, you know? Mm -hmm. But in reality, like it shows that you're, like what I wanna get to, and like this is the last point I'll make, is like the way you get to that version of yourself is by showing up as this version of exactly. yourself. Exactly, yeah. So that, cause this makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So the more I attract happiness, the more happy decisions I'm gonna make for myself so I will buy clothes I will do my nails I will and eventually like I will show up on camera one day as the best perfect version of myself yes. but it doesn't just happen first and then and that's the le that's just the way like life kind of works like that's just the rule of life and it's getting journey, to understand right? that yeah and looking back at it like living in Europe for so long I look back at it and I'm like oh my god now looking back I'm like I was on a spiritual journey and I didn't even understand that I was on mm. you know like I literally had to is your arm getting tired because of me? Oh. just this the only thing I was um, like I had to reprogram a lot of my mind a lot of my thinking like oh I'm just like I'm from New York like I'm not gonna be like you know all these limiting beliefs that someone naturally has I think that's a good video to make about the limited beliefs people have yeah. because I think that's I mean, but even that, I would want. I would love to make a topic on that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, you know. But I'm like, yo, I do know enough. I know a lot from like learning it firsthand and experiencing it. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm getting uh, sidetracked right now, and I'm gonna spend time with Le Layla. I wanna get to know everything on her end. But that's the homie, though. Like the way we became friends. Also, I should say. The way like we got rekindled was like all divine connection. Like it yeah. all happened divinely. Like nothing was like, nothing was like, uh, what's it called? Like a, a setup or like a, it just happened it like just happened. naturally. Like yeah. she met another friend that lived around where I live. She moved in around the area. Oh, then I met, then I caught, I got my visa. Nobody will understand how important that was to me. Only like she would. We went out for lunch, or I went to her house. She cooked some bomb ass lunch or dinner, <laughs> like official. We were like, oh my God. We hadn't seen each other for years. Oh my God. And then I went to America for three months, came back, and then I ran into her in the train. It was just crazy. Like, it just all kept happening, like serendipity. So, our friendship is very connected through, you know, beyond, like, I guess, like, 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 oh, like I want a friend. Like, oh, we're cute. Yeah, like, it's a connection. It's, it's a, a connection. connection. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I think I think that's what I'll just coffee and a museum day with Emily and yeah, Layla in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, it's in Amsterdam. So I hope you guys were able to get to know me a little bit through me speaking, or s I don't know. You guys, you guys will see it. Like it would just, it would like come out clear. Yes, I'm gonna subscribe to your channel if I didn't do it yet. <laughs> Guys, make sure you to doing my it. But Amsterdam is so beautiful in this time. Right? Yeah. But alright, I'm gonna sign out. If we do something else, I will probably just do B rows. I'll probably just record and then put music over it just so I don't keep talking unless you guys like.
hearing me talk. But I would need to know that. I think you can do both. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So we'll just kind of keep going with the flow. It's trial error and you'll see what works and what not. True. Okay. People will get feedback. And you need to have friends like this in your life. Like that's very important. So I do want to add that into it. All right. We're gonna have full crutch in that box. Yes. Oh, thank you. Can I film the size as well? Okay, thank you. Okay. a vibe look at your hair how blonde it looks it looks so beautiful Layla is living she snatched she went to Dominican Republic got a nice old tan yes we got the nice terrace for her everybody's sitting and enjoying I'm not sure how much you can see but I'm trying to I'm telling you Amsterdam in the summertime where the Sun is out is the best time to come yeah, it's way different. All of this be closed when it rains and it just be mad, empty and gloomy looking. But all this is so beautiful. Yo, I would love... Yes. Oh, this is cute. This is my vibe. This, my sister's vibe too. My sister will love this. What is that? Yeah. It's a wonderful thing, so... It's like eclectic. That's a good like coffee table read. Right? It's so yeah. beautiful. I miss things like this simply like looking through a book, you know? Yeah. It's so good. You saw this? Oh wow. Whoa. Look at that. Official. This oh is my gosh. Amazing. Wow. I love the era we're in. Like the fact that we get to arrive. Oh my god, I love it. Look how she's looking. Oh, she's like, ah, oh, I'm so awkward, but I'm doing it. No, nah, she did it good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I love it. Like, I'm Muslim, I'm a model, I'm black, I'm a conquer, and I go my own way. Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, say it again. What does it say? I'm Muslim, I'm a model. I'm black, I'm a punker, and I go my own way. Oh, I love Preach, that. Girl. I love, love that. Wow. This is amazing. Like, the generation we live in. The, right? like, the voice that we have now. Ooh. I love it. You're Muslim too, right? Yeah. yeah. I am, girl. It's lit. I love it. It's not beauty, it's like this. Awesome. Yes. Right? This is this Everything. has been beautiful to us. Always. Always, yeah. but it's now becoming mainstream, exactly. you know? That's what I mean. Yeah. Love, love, love it. You see? What we talking about? I'm trying to just make sure I grab footage so I don't really have much to say, so I'm just gonna But I'm hungry though, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna even try to complain. But where do you wanna eat the cookies from at? It doesn't matter, nice spot. Wait, all right, so let me think because we don't have to so there's a canal over there. Yeah. 
No, let's go over here. Let's go. I love it. Just to know where we are because I'm like. <laughs> you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. It's so simple. It's so easy. I have your phone. Oh, you do? Wow. It's like a whole market here going on with books. Okay, I'm gonna try to save some of my battery and I'll be back in a while while we're tasting the cookie. All right, pick one up. It's a triple chocolate, yeah? Triple chocolate. These are my favorite kind of cookies, like this. <laughs> this is food for the soul. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. It's like a whole meal. You want to split this one or? No. No. I'm not sharing. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, and they're kind of warm too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. No, I got. I got it. Thank you. Good. You're learning that you don't need anyone. Yeah. Yourself. Thank you. Oh my god, everything's so good. I know my my coworker. She used to literally like always buy these. Oh, now they're mad good. Oh, wow. Oh, he liked him some Layla. <laughs> My mama? Right? <laughs> Have you come back down here because he's lost? He was like... He was like, but he kept looking at you. He kept being like... Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. Like... Look, he's still smiling. He's still happy. Yeah, you What's see he's well? walking slower. Yeah, like, he's, he's starting to enjoy his vibes a little more. Damn it. <laughs> like the white in the mm -hmm. middle. Not me with my shoes off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't be hot. Thank you. Oh, they're so like gooey. Mm -hmm. They're not hard at all. They're like soft and mm -hmm. like. Girl, I need to make a, like a video of only the cookie. Exactly. Oh my god. How do you say that? The, the review? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh. So I ordered some egg fried rice with broccoli and oyster sauce. Lumpia. Lumpias. She has chicken. She has shrimp fried rice. This is oyster sauce? Yeah. Ah. Okay. I'm not a big drinker, so having this little drink. It's cute. It's giving. It's giving raw. It's giving. <laughs> I know y'all eat ice. I know there's people out there. What's <laughs> going The message of the day and of this video is don't give up on your dreams, don't give up on yourself, don't give up.